He has become one of the most iconic figures in world sport. But Rafael Nadal has never forgotten where it all began. I started at a very young age, three years old. I always loved the sport in general, so uh, tennis, football, golf, basketball, a lot of sports. For Rafa, there was no place quite like home. The weekends were crazy. You know, I played football, I played tennis, different matches, different places around the island, so it was, uh, if I don't have the great support of my family behind, everything will be, I believe, impossible. September 2016 marked a special moment for the man from Mallorca. Ahead of the launch of his academy on the island came the Rafa Nadal Sports Centre Open Day. Well, it's quite amazing that this is, in a way, a small island can have Rafa. I think it's just great for the sport, for Spanish sport, but especially for, for people here in Mallorca. The kids, when they grow up, they can look at and say, like, OK, I, I live in the same town as Rafa. Probably to have someone to, uh, who is doing well from Mallorca helps the kids to be the same, to be, they, ha they have someone to look at. That's very important, I think. To have an idol who is from the same place where you are, probably that helps a lot. The Open Day began with football, basketball, and of course, tennis tournaments. And there was the chance to take in the on-site sports museum, Sport Experience by Rafa Nadal. The huge academy is like a small city, and well, having his name and having him and his team is gonna put Mallorca in, in the map, I would say. Next came a basketball clinic with a special guest, Sergio Scariolo, head coach of the Spanish national team. The football featured legends from the clubs closest to Rafa's heart, Mallorca, Manacor, Real Madrid and Barcelona, including Brazilian Roberto Carlos and Spain's Ivan Campo. And there was a fantasy doubles match which saw Rafa team up with Mats Valanda to face Carlos Moya and John McEnroe. The perfect end to an unforgettable day at the Rafa Nadal Sports Centre. It's a good way that Mallorca is going to be known for this academy and, and you're going to have a school, you could stay there, you have a hospital, many courts and and Rafa and his team, which is uh, the most important thing. So for sure, it's going to have a huge impact in, in tennis in, in Mallorca, in Spain. I tried my best and I, all the things that I did, I did with, with the right passion. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, it's back to Beijing for the China Open. And we're in Tokyo for the Rakuten Japan Open Tennis Championships 2016. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com where you can cast your vote for the atpworldtour.com fans' favorite awards presented by Moet and Chandon. And chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet. And on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.